about us? Some snow. Well, no volcanoes, but yes, uh, <laughs> snow, that's that we for sure. <laughs> right. So you can see that we are tracking this system that is well off to our south. We're enjoying lots of sunshine for now, but we're going to watch this system nudge its way farther and farther to the north. So sunshine now, we're going to start to see some of those high, thin cirrus clouds fill in. They're already right at our doorstep, you can see, starting to move over Long Island Sound. So we'll start with these high, thin clouds that will be moving in, and of course the clouds will gradually thicken up as we go through this afternoon in to this evening. Now, so far, our winter weather advisory has only been posted for parts of our state. That includes Fairfield County and only parts of New Haven and Middlesex County. But I do expect more advisories will be issued over the next few hours. I'm not sure why those places so far, but that's the National Weather Service that issues those advisories. Here's a look in Long Wharf where you can see plenty of sunshine and again some of those high thin cirrus clouds on the horizon. It is 28 degrees in Windsor Locks. We're checking in at 32 in Lisbon. It's 29 in Meriden, about 28 degrees in Bridgeport. Those winds are out of the west, ranging anywhere between 5 to about 12 miles per hour. So not nearly as windy as it was over the weekend. Even yesterday it was still quite gusty at times and when we had some of those snow squalls move through and that wind really kicked up, boy that dropped visibility quickly. And here's a look at our hour by hour showing you those clouds nudging up from the south. But notice we will stay dry through this afternoon right into this evening. I don't really expect the leading edge of the snow to move in until closer to 10 o'clock this evening. So here we are at midnight where you can see light to moderate snow will be falling across the state and it is going to linger right through tomorrow morning. So I do expect there are going to be some school delays out there or could very well be some cancellations as well. But as this system starts to depart, we will likely see some sleet or even some freezing rain start to mix in with those snowflakes as temperatures start to climb past the freezing mark. But things should gradually dry up for tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to be left with about one to three inches of snow across the state and there could be some isolated uh, four inch amounts. I would say that's a little more likely up in the Litchfield Hills and into the higher elevations of Hartford, Tolan and Wyndham County. So not a blockbuster snowstorm, more of a nuisance than anything else. So increasing clouds today. It is going to be cold with temperatures in the lower 30s tonight. Light snow starting right around 10 o'clock and of course at times you could see bouts of moderate snow overnight. So we'll start with snow tomorrow morning but then as I said we could see some sleet or even some freezing rain mix in by midday. Here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where Temperatures are not going up this week. Even though we will get back into the sunshine Wednesday and Thursday, highs will only be in the upper 20s to low 30s. It looks like we could see another little nuisance system into Friday. Uh, it could be looking at another one to three, maybe upwards of four inches with that one. So uh, not enough to necessarily warrant the snowblower, but maybe the shovel. Looking ahead to this weekend, plenty of sun. Look at Saturday. Highs are only going to be in the teens to low 20s.